Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Meghan's in hot water. Queen ditches her and warmly welcomes Trumps to Windsor. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is in hot water after she embarrassed the Queen during President Donald Trump's first state visit. It seems Meghan can't stop speaking out about her sick political views, and the Queen rightly ditched the American actress in favor of warmly welcoming the first couple to Windsor Castle. Now, Meghan looks like a fool as Trump's successful visit is marked by making the Queen laugh. Well, the big meeting between Queen Elizabeth II and President Trump has happened at Windsor Castle, and leftists were so disappointed when the monarch warmly welcomed the President and First Lady with big smiles. Absent was the one American in the royal family, Meghan Markle. The Queen, who is a devout Christian, was just rocked by Prince Harry's new bride, who embarrassed the monarch while she visited Ireland two days ago. Ireland is a heavily Catholic country with over 78% of the population identifying as Roman Catholic. So, when Meghan Markle, as the Duchess of Sussex, cozied up to a pro-abortion Irish politician and allowed a tweet to go out confirming her approval of making abortion the law of the land in Ireland, the Queen was extremely pissed off especially since this came only hours before Trump was to meet Her Majesty at Windsor Castle. Senator Catherine Nowen, an Irish politician who also chaired the parliamentary committee that recommended repealing the Eighth Amendment prohibiting abortion, posted a photo of herself on her social media platforms, chatting with Meghan, as was reported by The Sun. The caption read, A pleasure to meet Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex at the British Ambassador's residence this evening. The Duchess and I had a chat about the recent referendum result pro-abort legislation, dash she watched with interest and was pleased to see the result. The original tweet, shown in the screenshot above, was taken down after Buckingham Palace scolded Meghan, telling her the Queen is deeply distressed by it. So, it was no surprise that, even though Meghan is an American, the monarch can trust her when it comes to state matters, like hosting the leader of the free world and his wife for tea. Putting that ugliness behind her, Queen Elizabeth was glowing wearing a lovely Easter egg blue pastel coat and matching hat, as she warmly smiled while grasping President Trump's hand. As the President and First Lady approached Her Majesty, the Queen quickly put them at ease by immediately offering her hand and doing away with a formal curtsy or bow, which would be required if she did not put her hand out. Melania was all smiles too, as the Queen turned to her and shook her hand while President Trump said something to make them laugh. It was genuinely a touching moment. When the Queen wants to impress, she hosts guests at Windsor Castle, not Buckingham Palace. Of course, the mainstream American media have no clue about this, but if you turn to stories from the past, the Queen has picked Windsor for special guests she wants to impress, like former First Lady Jackie Kennedy. Then, there's everything the British monarch and President Trump have in common. Royal biographer John Hardman said, they actually have quite a lot in common. They both got Scottish mothers, they both own fairly large parts of Scotland, in her case Balmoral, in his case two golf courses, and she's used to dealing with the most appalling despots, monsters, crooks, dictators. I think they're going to get on great." The fake news media was out in force, just waiting to find something wrong with Trump's royal visit. All they could come up with was a pack of lies. Trump was scheduled to arrive at Windsor Castle at 5 p.m. local time, and he did. But, the leftist media claimed he was late and kept the Queen waiting since Her Majesty arrived on the grounds 15 minutes beforehand. Although we were not privy to the details of their private tea, we can shed light on what the Queen was tasked with when meeting President Trump. It's true the British monarch is supposed to stay out of politics, but at times of trouble, the government often turns to the Queen to smooth over some hot political potato. Right now, it's Brexit and Trump. The Brits need the United States for solid trade deals in light of their exit from the European Union, and you can bet the Queen offered her support for the continued robust trade between the UK and America. I'm sure the President also brought up his late mother, Mary Ann MacLeod Trump, who was born a British citizen in Scotland. In fact, meeting the Queen was something his mother would have seen as one of the highlights of anyone's life. Mary Jo Jacobi, a former aide to President Ronald Reagan, said, he, Trump, has already won, he is meeting with the Queen and his lifelong wish has been meeting with the Her Majesty. So from his personal perspective, it is a win already. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump left Windsor Castle after a very successful first trip to the United Kingdom. Despite the leftist mob protesting the president in London and Meghan Markle causing an uproar, there was no doubt the Queen ensured the first couple left happy. The monarch rolled out the red carpet and honored President Trump with all the pomp and circumstance fit for a king.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.